We greet you in the mighty name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Certainly do thank and praise God for life, health, and strength. And as we prepare to go into our Sunday morning worship service, and we look out there on the airways, we invite you in to come and fellowship with us. And not only fellowship with us, but we invite you to pray with us, to hear what God has to say to your very own soul. So we invite you in to have some proud worship service on this morning. And we greet all of you with a hearty, thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Let's give him some praise. Let's give him some praise to this sanctuary. Hallelujah. He's worthy. He's worthy of every praise. Hallelujah. God has blessed us down through the week. He has allowed us out of the mercies of his very own bound to allow us to come this morning and to worship him, to praise him, and to give him thanks for blessing our lives. This is what Sunday morning worship service is all about. It's where that the family of God can assemble themselves around the Father through our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. We come here as a family to worship Him, to glorify Him, to praise Him because He is worthy of every praise. And before we approach the holy altar of God, I'm going to ask you if you will prepare yourself. And when I say and what I mean by preparing yourself, I want you to concentrate. I want you to forget about the outside world. Concentrate on him, the one that woke you up this morning. Let's get spiritual. Let's get spiritual. Hallelujah where God can minister to our very own self. And while you're consecrating yourself and thinking, don't forget to pray. Hallelujah. For the sick, the afflicted, the shut in, don't forget to pray for those who are less fortunate than we are. Pray for the mother. Pray for those who have asked you to lift their name up in prayer. Remember that. And then don't forget to pray for yourself. Shall you bow your heads with me? Hallelujah. Let's get spiritual. Come on. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. He who heard me. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Lord, we worship you, Lord. We worship you, Jesus. We honor you. We magnify your name, Lord. Because you are worthy. You are worthy, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We first after that. 
Hallelujah. We thank you. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. The God of Abraham. The God of Isaac. Jacob, my God. Hallelujah. The God of Moses and all the prophets. In the precious name. In that wonderful name of thy son, the Lord Jesus Christ. Lord, we thank you today. We thank you today, Lord. Hallelujah. For seeing a new day. Day in which we have never seen before. We thank you, Jesus. Oh, God. For your mercy, Lord. New mercy, Lord. New mercy, Lord. We thank you, Jesus. Because it was nothing that we did, Lord. Oh, the Lord of God. It was nothing that we did. Oh, the Lord. But it was the Lord Jesus Christ. Your son. Hallelujah. Oh, the Lord of God. That has enabled us. That has enabled me. To come this morning. And cry loud. And stand. Oh, the Lord, hallelujah. And Lord, we 
pray for the saints of God here at House of Prayer and throughout the world. Those, my God, who know, who believe in Jesus, oh, the Lord of God, strengthen us, my God, with your power from on high. Anoint us, my God. Anoint us, my God. Anoint us, my God. And Lord, we assemble ourselves together in this building. Lord, that's called house of prayer. Oh, the Lord and God. But Lord, not only is it a worship center, but Lord, it's a hospital. We come to hear Jesus. Oh, the Lord and God. Because some souls are wounded. Oh, the Lord and God. Don't you heal? Heal those wounded souls. Oh, the Lord and God. Some come looking to have the mindset free. Oh, the Lord and God. Free them. Free them, Lord. Free them in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Some come looking to have the body healed. Oh, the Lord and God. All you have to do, Lord. Is say the word. All you have to do, Lord, is wave your arms. All you have to do, Lord, is look down on them, and they shall be healed by their faith. Oh, the Lord and God. We thank you, Jesus, for being in the hospital of the Lord, Jesus Christ, where you can come and minister to our souls. Oh, the Lord and God. Bless us, Lord. Bless us, Lord. Bless us, Jesus. Give us, Jesus. Deliver us, Jesus. Set us free, Lord. Oh, the Lord and God. Because where there is liberty, where there is liberty, there's freedom. And Jesus, Jesus is our liberty. We can set free the Lord and God. We can keep the power of darkness. Lucifer. 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 The blood of Jesus is against you. And God, we thank you, Lord, for your freedom that you have given us. Oh, the Lord and God. We thank you today. And Father, we pray right now in the name of Jesus, Lord, for our government. We pray for our leaders. We pray this morning, Lord, for those, Lord, that are in the hospital. Lord, those that are locked up. Those, hallelujah, not only are locked up, incarceration but those that walk the street whose minds are locked up oh glory to God free their minds hallelujah free their minds oh hallelujah Jesus we thank you Lord we thank you Lord we thank you Jesus we thank you Lord and Lord we pray hallelujah for our young people this morning and a special prayer huh, for our little young one huh, to the KK Lord we thank you Lord hallelujah for bringing her out with huh. oh, glory to God huh. we thank you Lord hallelujah glory to God for showing up huh, and showing out huh. we thank you right now Lord for her family Lord bless the family Oh, glory to God. Send it in, huh? And Lord, we pray this morning for every bereaved family. Those, my God, who have lost the loved one. Lord, we pray. Hallelujah. Special prayer. Hallelujah. For the Adams family. In the hills of West Virginia this morning. Lord, will you bless them? Lord, hallelujah, Jesus. That void of emptiness. Glory to God. 
Lord, would you feel it? Would you feel it with your breath? Would you feel it with your love? Oh, glory to God. And Lord, every soul who have lost a loved one across this nation, Lord, would you feel the emptiness? Feel that void, Lord. Lord, show your power. Show your power. Oh, glory to God. Lord, we thank you, Jesus, for our young people continue in my God to encourage them. And Lord, we pray for our worship leader on this morning. Lord, would you move in a mighty way? Don't move in a mighty way. Strengthen her right now with the power of your spirit of over. Hallelujah. Bless all our musicians. And Lord, every individual that shall come through the house of prayer door enter into this sanctuary. Lord, let no one leave the same way that they came. Lord, touch with the power of your spirit. Convict someone. Heal someone. Deliver someone. Somewhere, Lord. Do it, Jesus. Lord, we pray for the man of God that the way you are who shall stand in the gap this morning and declare the power of your word. Lord, would you speak hallelujah to him and then Lord speak through him. Let no flesh glorify in thy sight. Hallelujah, Jesus. Lord, we pray for every family hallelujah that's across this world. We pray, my God, for the hatred that's been spread by old Slewfoot himself. We rebuke hatred, Lord, and we say, Love is the answer. The love of Jesus is the answer. I pray for the world, Lord. I pray, Lord, for the world that they will acknowledge. Jesus Christ, that he is the answer. He is the problem solver. And Lord, continue to bless this house. Glorify thyself. In Jesus' name we pray. Come on and praise the Lord. Come on and say thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Come on. Let him abide him. Glory to God. He is worthy. He is worthy to be praised. At this time, I worship leader for the morning. Hallelujah, Sister Brother McKinney. Let's bring her to the heart of thank you, Lord Jesus.
for this day. The Lord has blessed us here another day, a beautiful day. We're in the land of the living. We made the wake up call, thank you. So many didn't wake up this morning, but we praise God that we're here. And we're here to worship him. We asked him all for seven days, six days. We asked the Lord, do this. Bless me, bless me. Bless my mother, bless my father, bless my sister, bless my brother. Now we're here to worship him and to praise him for what he's done. Hallelujah. Because he's done so many great things. And we're here to worship him on this morning. So as the deer panted for the water, for so my soul panted for the O Lord.
the scripture tells us who we should fear. It says, fear the one who can kill the body and the soul. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And it's so wonderful to see all of you here on, on this glorious Sunday morning. Coming here just to say thank you. Hallelujah. Just to give him thanks one more time. Hallelujah. We honor him for all of the new mercy that he has bestowed on us this morning. So what does that mean? That means that we can be better today than we were on yesterday. Hallelujah. How do you feel in your soul? How do you feel in your soul? Oh, hallelujah. I feel good this morning. I feel so good till it's offering time in the sanctuary. Hallelujah. I got some weights in my pocket, Elder. And I got to get these weights. Yeah, I got the lay inside. I got to get rid of some of this weight. Glory to God. Hallelujah. You know what? If, if you notice on last Sunday, we asked for a special offering. And, 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 and what a wonderful, wonderful thing it was to see all of you to be obedient. And that's what I'm talking about. Then when my wife came home during the week, she says, uh, the stimuli check came. <laughs> Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. The stimulus check came. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory, hallelujah. And I say that because God's going to bless us. And so what did I do? I do what I'm supposed to do. Took my portion of it and I wrote a check out to the house of prayer. Not my tithing now, but this is a free will offering. I give back 10%. Because see, God is a multiplier. If we take that little bit of money that God touched the president with to give to the people, God is going to multiply that $1,400 that you have received. If you believe in him, if you trust him, hallelujah, I want you to Say this with me this morning. What you give God uh -huh, shows him how much you trust him with. And what you have shows you how much God trusts you with. Now I want you to remember that. You need to remember that. Those are some powerful sentences. Yes. What you give God shows God how much you trust him with. How much do you trust him with? And what you have shows you how much God trusts you with. That's how this, that's how this blessed man works, honey. Hallelujah. If you give a little bit, you got a little bit. That, that's how it works. If we do what we're supposed to do, the Bible says that he will do what? He will open up a window and pour you out a blessing Hallelujah! that you have room to store. And you, you got to believe that. You got to believe it. You got to say it. You have to allow it to become a part of you. Hallelujah. It has become a part of me. Hallelujah. It has become a part of Sister Greta. I can speak for her. Glory to God. Hallelujah. God will bless you. He will take a little and make it much when you put it in the master's hand. Glory to God. He'll do that same. 
Hallelujah. So this morning, we know what we're supposed to do here at House of Prayer. We don't have to keep telling you, or we shouldn't, because it has become a part of us. It says that we have asked those who can, hallelujah, to give $20 in the morning offering. Glory to God. Those who can give more, you can write that million dollar check. But give according to how the Lord has blessed you. And then there's 10% of our wages. And once again, I'll say wages. Wages is what you earn. That if you're paying on your gross, then you don't owe God nothing when you get your income tax check back because you paid on your gross. But if you paid your 10% and you paid it on your net, then you owe God something of your income tax check. I know it's, but that's right. If you want to be blessed, you got to be honest with God. You got to stop stealing. You think you're stealing from yourself, but you're stealing from God. And you're missing your blessing. You're missing your blessing. That's what I like about God. Everything that God does is honesty. It's integrity. Glory to God. Scripture tells us that when a man robbed God, and then on down to tell you, yeah, we robbed him in time and moment. But yet we want God to bless us. We want God to open up that door of opportunity. And he will if you just trust him. Amen. So at this time, amen, you're in the hands of our usher. <laughs> Thank you for your giving. God is going to bless you. 
Amen. Because God is a keeper of his word. Scripture tells us that God is not man that he should lie. Nor the son of man that he should repent. Everything in God's word. If you trust him. Hallelujah. He'll bring it to pass. If you trust God for healing. If you trust him. God will heal you. Bible tells us that he's the same God yesterday, today, and forevermore. If you believe God, God will heal your ailment. If you believe in him. Hallelujah. But how do you believe in Christ? You believe in him by doing what he says do. Glory to God. This is how our faith grows. Our faith grows when we come to Bible study, when we come to Sunday morning prayer, when we pray, when we fast. You are building your faith. Hallelujah. In Christ Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Once again, we certainly do thank you for your liberality and your giving. And I just want to read this word right here, this phrase in your heart. And I want you to soak it in. What you give God shows him how much you trust him with. And what you have shows you how much God trusts you with. Father, we come at this hour to say thank you, Lord. Father, we pray blessings on this offering. Sacrificial offering, Lord, that's given unto you. Lord, would you bless every individual? Hallelujah. Bless them, my God, according to your holy word. Bless my God. Use them which have been given. For the furthest building of the kingdom, your kingdom, in this video, bless my sins as only thine know how. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Come on, let's give the Lord a hand clap. Glory to God. One day. One day. You're going to look back and you're going to say, I'm glad I did what God said me do. You're going to look back one day and you're going to hurt because you didn't take heed and do what the man of God said did. It's a hurt thing when your soul hurts. When the internal soul hurts, it's, it's a hurt thing. It hurts when you hear someone talk about the ministry and dying. He's talking about himself. God does not die. You're talking about yourself. God lives. And he is the eternal God. God is here forever. And I want you to remember that. Thank you, Jesus. We thank God for you. We thank God. I believe we're going to hear the word this morning. Come on and thank you, Jesus. That is right. That is healing. There is deliverance in the power of God's word. All we have to do is listen. It's not the man. It's the word of God that comes through the man. So we want you to sit back and listen 
and get your soul prepared in your word. Hallelujah. Eat it. Hallelujah. Because we're going to need it throughout the week. Amen. So without further ado, it gives me great joy to introduce my brother in Christ. Elder Wayne Lawrence. Come on, let's greet him for the heart of the Lord Jesus. Praise the Lord, everyone. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank Hallelujah. you, Lord. Say praise the Lord again. Hallelujah. Praise God for his goodness and his mercy. Shed upon him. Praise him for another opportunity and yes, another Lord. privilege. Just to come before you with the word of God Amen. one more time. Mm -hmm. As he has done so much, so much for me. Hallelujah. He had done so much for me. He has done so much for me. I will never see you Touch her, touch yes. her, touch her. 
But something was going on in the body. Yeah. Hallelujah. And I said, God has made us, and we are wonderfully made. Yes. Yes. And, and the little ones knows how to embrace their pain, just like the old one. And some of them, the little ones, don't know how to brace it, just like the older ones. <laughs> Hallelujah. But the God that we serve, he knows how to bring us through. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Now, I, you know, it could have went another way on the operation day, but you don't know how it's going to go. <laughs> but look at God. And sometimes we, I don't know, understand it. Sometimes we, we think it's got to be all about us. Come on, come on. You know, it's, it's not about us. It's not about us. You know, I, I'm happy for all of you that got your stimulus check. Uh -huh. Me and Pastor call the stimuli. <laughs> <laughs> we were watching a video of Lady said, hey, I just blew my mind, man. But we, we're glad for you. Hallelujah. I'm still waiting. <laughs> you know, when Spinner sung the song, I don't mind waiting. <laughs> but I did go on the internet and push us and just to check things out. Hallelujah. But we praise God for His blessing and He's just showering His blessings upon the saints of God. And you got to be excited about what God is doing. Hallelujah. I don't know about you, but I'm excited about excited. what God oh, has done for me. Yeah. So you got to be excited for yourself going to this chair. Hallelujah. And I'm just excited about this word on today because God just dropped it into my heart just on last week, Elder. Pastor, he was preaching. And, and, and I just love to hear people just go into that word and they start pulling out stuff and I, I goes in it also with them but I look for God to give me something Jesus, yeah. so I'm asking you to look for God to give you something out of this word amen, amen. because if you don't look for it, you won't get it. oh okay I thought maybe you know maybe it just dropped from the sky right. <laughs> somebody might just slip it in your pocket no, that's but you got to look for it look just for like it. you were looking for that stimulus uh, chair uh, uh, uh. <laughs> You got to look even more for God's Amen. word to pull up inside. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And get excited about it. Yes. Hallelujah. Open your Bibles to a familiar scripture. Very familiar. Very familiar. St. John's the third chapter. There was a man of the Pharisees named Nicodemus. A ruler of the Jews. The same came to Jesus by night and said unto him, Rabbi, we know. He didn't say I know. He said, We know. He said, We know that thou art a teacher come from God. For no man can do these miracles. That thou doest, except God be with him. And Jesus answered and said unto him, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, Except a man be born again, mm -hmm. he cannot see mm -hmm. the kingdom of God. Yeah. And Nicodemus said unto him, How can a man be born when he is old? Can he enter the second time into his mother's womb and be born? And Jesus answered, said, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, except a man be born of water and of the spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. He says, that which is born of the flesh is flesh, and that which is born of the spirit is spirit. Marvel not that I say unto thee, ye must be born again. The wind bloweth where, where it listeth, and thou hearest the sound thereof, but cannot tell whence it cometh and whether it's going. 
So with everyone that is born of the Spirit. And Nicodemus answered and said unto him, How can these things be? Mm -hmm. Jesus said unto him, Art thou a master of Israel? And knoweth not these things? Mm. Verily, verily, I say unto thee, We speak that we do know, and testify we have seen. But ye receive not a witness. If I have told you earthly things, and ye believe not, how shall ye believe if I tell you of heavenly things? Mm. No man has ascended up to heaven, but he that came down from heaven, even the Son of Man, which is in heaven. And as Moses lift up the servant in the wilderness, even so must the Son of Man be lifted up that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have eternal life. And Pastor, I'm just going to rob just a little bit from you last um, Sunday. Just a little bit first portion of a verse that you was reading in Galatians, the sixth chapter. And it says, Walk according to this rule. Mm. But then you jumped up and you said, but a new creature. I said, Lord, what are you trying to tell us? What are you trying to tell us here? I think the Lord is trying to get us back to what the goal is here about salvation. We have deviated from the guidelines and we have strayed from it because we started preaching about a pie in the sky. Come on. We started preaching the blessing plan. Mm -hmm. We started pre preaching abundance and all that we can obtain down here. Mm -hmm. And we stopped talking about the kingdom of God. Jesus. Oh my God. Look at here. Look at here. Look at here. He took me back to the revered chap, first chapter of this book of John. And there was a man by the name of John. And he was preaching baptism. His only job was to go and baptize believers. He was to prepare the way for him that was coming after him. Going somewhere with this show. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. He was preparing the way for him that was coming after him. Yes. Jesus. Yes. Mm. He was preparing the way for him. He didn't deviate from what he was supposed to do. He did what he was supposed to do was to try to convert all those that he could mm -hmm. for him that was coming after yes. him. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. Now, Christ has come on the scene. Mm -hmm. And he started doing all these miracles, the backdrop of this chapter here. He started doing all these miracles, and, and he came to a point in, in, in Canaan of Galilee, and he had to change water into wine, and, and then he moved on to Capernaum, and, and, and he started, you know, doing things in Capernaum, but he got in Capernaum, and he found in Jerusalem a church. And he found people in the church selling things. They, they, they strayed from what they were supposed to do. Uh -huh. These are people in the church now. I ain't talking about people in the world yet. These people in the church were straying away from what they were supposed to do. They were selling things in the church. They were making a store out of the church. Right, right. Mm -hmm. But when Jesus came and he says, there's rules in my house. Amen. If you can just say that to me. There is rules in my house. Come on, come on. That's the topic. Come on. There's rules in here. Come on. <laughs> Hallelujah. There is rules in my house. 
And we have moved into a, a season, and we're trying to come out of this season where there's so many rules. When you go on your job, there's rules. You can't just walk in anymore. Me take your temperature. I gotta make sure that you ain't got nothing. Before you could just walk in and walk out, hit your time clock, get to your station and do what you need to do. But now you got to hold up. Check yourself. I'm going someplace with that. Nicodemus. You know, heard things about Christ. Right. He heard that there was something going on, and they, he knew there was something about that man. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. He knew there was something that was going on, and even an average man couldn't do. Even they couldn't do. They were rulers. Right, right. Mm -hmm. They knew the law, they kept the law. Mm -hmm. But still, there was something lacking yeah. in their house. I thought about the rich man, Mother, Mother Bash. He said, what, 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 what must I do to inherit eternal life? He asked the Christ. Christ knew his mind. Just like he knew Nicodemus' mind, he knew the rich man's mind. Rich man went on to say, yeah, I, I kept the law, law for my youth up. I, I kept the commandments. He said, what, what, but there's, but there's one thing lacking. There's something in your house that has to be changed. Come on, come on, come on. The rules got to be changed in your house. Come on, come on. He told Nicodemus that the rules in your house need to be changed. Uh -huh. And the only way they can be changed, you must be and here we have a man, a scholar, a man that knows the law, a man that just, he, that's all they did was study. He was a ruler. He studied, he, 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 it was something in him was lacking, and, and he knew it, and he sent went to Jesus by night, and he, it wasn't just him. He said, we. He didn't go there and say it was I. He said it was we, 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 it was we, we was we, we, after you left the church, we, we sat down and we got the, in the discussion and we wanted to know what was it about you? How do you have so much power to even turn water into wine? Oh God, I get you. Mm. And I think sometimes we forget and we miss it how powerful the God that we serve. Jesus, right. Come on. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Powerful. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the demon said, listen, we was talking, you know, and we got together and we said, you know, you, you, you got to be. You must be a man that, 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 that is sent by God. And Jesus came back and said, you must be. Hallelujah. You must be. Born. Come on, Sister Penny. You're going you to help me. You're going to help me bring this message across here. You must be. Born again. Take inventory of yourself. Because there's rules in every house. Spoken and unspoken. See, you have to say that because sometimes rules isn't laid out for you. Right. Mm -hmm. But you do something contrary to the house, uh -huh. they're going to say, oh, no, 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 no. We don't do that here. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. There's rules in this house. Right. Mm -hmm. If you don't lay down the rules that's in your house now, right. I'm talking about this body, this right. temple here, mm -hmm. folks will walk all over yes, you. They will. Come on. I said folks will walk all over all you. Over so you have to tell them that there's rules in this house. You know the old man doesn't live here no more. Come on. Come on, break that. Gotta evict it. <laughs> My landlord, Jesus, evict him. Thank you. He, he evict the old man. Because he told me that I must be. I got to be. Born again. I got to get rid of all of those old ways. Hallelujah. And I got to let him groom me. I got to let him teach me. Yes, I 
I got to let him allow me to grow in him. I got to let his spirit manifest where that, the, the, the things I used to say. Yes, yes. Don't say no more. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. The places I used to go. No more. Come on. Oh, God. Mm -hmm. Jesus. Maybe, I, I ain't get too many Jesus. 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 Maybe you're still going to them same place. You must be born again. Yes, Lord. Come on. Hallelujah. But yet, it, God has no respect to person. I don't care if you're a ruler of many or you're just a loner. He has no respect to person. But see, these rules here, you can't go and buy it from the average grocery store. Hmm? You can't go to the warehouse and say, you know, we need abundance of this here piece. Can I have a box of peace, a box of love, or give me a, a container of joy, and um, if you can't do that, you must be born again. And and you know, I, I, I thought about you know the beginning when 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 Noah uh, uh, had to build the ark and, and you know the, we, we use it so often. Noah preached 120 years the same message. And, and and sometimes we get discouraged because nobody comes, nobody seems to be following. But the word still gets out. Amen. Hallelujah. You don't know what God is doing right. behind the scenes. Right. That's why you have to stay full. Uh -huh. You have to follow the rules. Because if you deviate from the rules, they say, well, he was consistent. But now, he's saying something different. <laughs> that's, the, that's the kind of world we're living in. See, you got to open up your spiritual eyes and see what kind of world we live in. Uh, you got folks that's even in the church uh -huh. are changing their opinion about this word. Yes, right. You must be born again Hallelujah. of the water and the spirit. Mm -hmm. See, John said, I baptize you in water, but there's one that's coming greater than me. Yes. Shall yes, baptize you yes, with the Spirit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's why it's so important to have the anointing of God yes. residing on the inside yes. of your house. Hallelujah. Oh, my, my. Oh, Hallelujah. Come on. Because He governs what kind of rules are going on in your house. Hallelujah. You just can't let anything come up in your house. That's right. That's right. That's right. Let me say that again. Maybe not You know how, on the natural sense, when you got your house, your apartment, your your little crib, and you just letting everybody walk in and out, and they doing everything they big enough to do to come in your house. That means you ain't got no rules. Come on here. But when you lay down the Lord, you ain't going to have too many people coming into your house. Yeah, come on here. Yeah. Yeah. Sure won't. They don't even want to visit you. They sure right? oh, 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 oh. Too many rules in that. Uh -huh. Those rules I don't like to buy by the way. You know, I had some cousins and I don't like to go to grandma's house. Uh -huh. Grandma got too many rules. <laughs> you can't sit here, you can't do this, you can't get a glass of water. You can't do nothing. Now, you know they're exaggerating. Right. Because what they really want to do is sit up in Grandma's house and do all the oh, things that's uh, damnable right. that's to their right. soul. That's right. And Grandma's saying, no, we don't have, we allow we that. Do that. Uh -huh. right. Hallelujah. You got to get some spine right. in your house. Come on, come on. Get some backbone come on, come on. in your house. That's right. That's right. That's all, that's all, that's all Christ was telling Nicodemus. He said, listen, I know you're a ruler of your house. I know you're governing and all that. But there's something that you lack in. Because in order for you to really govern your house, you have to be born again. Oh, yeah, you're saying, yeah, I'm in control. I'm the head of my house. I'm doing everything I'm big enough to do. But I have you been born again. Because that makes a difference in your house. Hallelujah. I just like when God comes into a new creature. Because the Bible says, Brother Joey, when he comes into a new creature, 
Not only those that are around him rejoice, heaven rejoices. Hallelujah. Oh my God. Oh my God. Uh, you know, it, it, it was it, you know, y'all thought that internet was, you know, the internet was fast. <laughs> Hallelujah. You know, they thought the computer was so fast. It, you know, they they they, they improved it too fast, you know. They put all these gigabytes and gigabytes and all these megabytes and every kind of bite you want to bite <laughs> to get that message to you quickly. But the God that we serve. Before it even entered your mind, Come on. God was already sending it to heaven. Hallelujah. So when you want to go, when you decide to be born again, God already placed it there. And he said, oh, well, just wait, just wait, just wait. We're about to rejoice now. That brother right there is about to give his heart to me right now. Hallelujah. Because he wants to be born again. Because the old ways is just not working for him anymore. And I need to make a change. And here God was saying, this is, I'm about to make a change right here. Right here. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. I'm about to cause things to, 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 to come in existence. To, you know how we quote that scripture, call those things that be not uh -huh. as though they were. Uh -huh. He said, they, in other words, he was saying that really to Nicodemus, you must be born again. Nicodemus said, I don't understand this. I, this language you're speaking is above my pay grade. You know, I just don't understand. It's above my knowledge. I, I just don't understand. I never heard it before. But then you just break it down for me. And, he, and I like the way he broke it down because the God that we serve, he knows how to break it down so clearly. And, uh, and even, even he makes it so simple that even we, we miss it sometimes. And I thought about that example he gave. He said, you know, the wind blowers. Come on. The wind blowers. Did you see it? Hmm. Look for it. The wind bloweth. Right. Look for it. Where is it? Where, where did it come? The wind bloweth. Hmm. It's above my uh, in intellect. Um, Jesus, can you break it down for me? Look, can you break it down for me? The wind bloweth, but you don't know where it came from. Right. See, we're trying to understand how to be born again, and and and, 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 and we're wasting time. But you don't know where that wind came from. You don't even know where it's going. And so is salvation. Being born again is just like that. You don't know it. But God manifested in you. You really don't, you really can't pinpoint when it came. Your transition. You said, yeah, it came on July 4, 1963. What time? <laughs> what nanoseconds? Let's bring it down. Let's bring it down. When, when it happened. I'm giving you a date. Well, what was, okay, what day? It was on a Wednesday, yes. And what time? It was 3 o'clock. And, okay, 3 o'clock, let's say, okay, when did it actually happen at 3 o'clock? Was it before the clock ticked there or uh, down no seconds before there? You don't know, but you believe. And that's what it's all about. The belief that it's called faith. Hallelujah. You can't go by that. But you do have it. You know why I say you have it? It's not because I'm just saying that. This is what the word of God says. He says, I have given every. No, he left you out, Sister Lizette. He said, uh, uh, I have given every. No, Sister Greta, he left you out that one. Um, I have given every. Jim, you, 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 I mean, not you, Jim. But everybody else, he has given everybody else the measure of faith. But the thing is that we don't activate it in the spirit. Mm -hmm. It takes faith yeah. to move God. Hallelujah. He said, anybody that wants to be, first you got to believe that he exists, that he is. And then not only that, when it goes on to say that he is a rewarder. Mm -hmm. Oh, God, thank you. Those that just give him praise, even if he didn't do nothing for me today, God, he still deserves the praise. Even if he never gave me that stimulus check, he still deserves me. Even if he never healed me, he still deserves me. Even if he never sent another member to me, he is still deserving. You know why I can say that? 
because I've been born again. I don't think the way I used to. I don't even walk the way I used to walk. Matter of fact, I don't even talk the way I used to talk. Hallelujah. Because he put a new song in my heart. Yes, he did. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, and he was trying to tell Nicodemus that I need to put a new song in your heart. See, I can't put it in there unless you be born again. And the only way you're going to get anything from God, you got to be. You must be born again. Now, you can tell those that are not born again. Pastor, I'm going to talk to you right now. You can tell that pastor who's been born again. Now, if I step on your feet, you just say, ouch. <laughs> or just move your feet. You can tell them that are born again. You don't have to tell them to come to Tuesday night last. You know why? Because a baby needs some milk. He cannot eat meat right now. They need to be taught. A newborn creature in Christ, they, they get a hunger and thirst after righteousness. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They want God. Mm -hmm. They want God more than they even want that job on Monday. Oh. Mm, you got to get there. They want God more than the stimulus check. Uh -huh. right. mm, you got to get there. Right. They want God more than that car they drive. Right. Mm, you got to get there. They want God more than the money that's in their account. Hallelujah. I'm going to tell you something right there. They, they, they want more than that. And when they get God, they start rejoicing over the little thing. Yeah. Hallelujah. They start rejoicing over things that he's done for somebody else and not themselves. Hallelujah. See, you got to get there. That's when they know you've been born again. Hallelujah. God starts working on the inside. See, the, the, the Jews back then, Brother Jody, they were serving God on the outside. Mm -hmm. They said, yeah, I don't kill nobody. I ain't covered my neighbor's wife. I don't steal. I don't cheat. You, know, you, can, you can see all of that. But what's going on on the inside Jesus. is what God is concerned about. That's right. mm -hmm. God is concerned about every one of us. Yeah, yeah. And we cannot hide anything from God. He knows that hair on our head, even the little bit that we may have, he knows it. And he knows how many are up there, is it, Brother Joe? Right, right. Brother Steve, he knows how many is up there. We can brush them, we can cut it, they start growing back, and he starts coming. All right, we'll take one away, but you still got 1,628. He knows that you go there and try to count, you say, man, I'm getting tired of counting. No. Uh, what, what was the last number I was up to? Three million and, oh, man, I'm tired. But the God that we serve, he knows all. He knows the intents of our heart. He knows if we want to be born again. Yeah. All we have to do is surrender to him. And all he was really telling Nicodemus, you got to surrender to this here. In order for you, you, you I know y'all know, I know you think you know me, but you don't know me. Because, see, if you don't be born again, you cannot even see the kingdom of God. And that's deep. You cannot even see the kingdom of God. I, 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 I'm going to leave that alone because. See, I can go even further with that, with that seeing the kingdom of God, even in death, you would not see the kingdom of God. He will allow you to see something else, but not the kingdom. Oh, God, thank you. There's rules in this house. Even in this house, house of prayer. There's rules in this house. And I thank God for, you know, we implementing the bruises that comes in this season. We make sure we take the temperature. We have sanitize all over. We spray in the sanctuary. We get the names of people coming in and going out. 
we do our part. And all God is saying is, do your part and clean up your house. Do your part and I will do mine. But I ask everyone to stand. There's rules in this house. I'm just hoping that it will stay with you throughout the week that you be mindful of what God has done in your house. And when you come up against things on this week that will be opposite to the rules that's in your house, you can put the brakes on it and say there's rules in this house. And we ain't going to have it here. Because what Jesus said, he said, he, 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 when the enemy comes in and try to tempt him, he tells him, get thee behind me and save him. But you ain't playing football up in my up, up position. You ain't going to be kicking me all around. That's what he's saying. And that's what you need to do. You need to speak to these situations and tell it to get thee behind. Because as sure as you're born again, because you're not exempt from trials and tribulations when you've been born again. You just speak to that situation. And you tell it and then you and then and you and then and you and you go to God who is the author and the finisher of all that you say and do. Maybe there's one in the midst of us that's going through and need prayer. Maybe you need Pray on top of that. Pray on top of this. Say, Ellen, if you just could just breathe a word of prayer for me and, and, and trust and believe with me and touch and agree with me on this situation, just raise your hand. We'll pray for you. I see that hand. I see that hand. I see that hand. I see that hand. See that hand. Hallelujah. And we're going to touch and agree with you on today. And God will work it out in your life. Our prayer is that we continue to keep our little ones up in prayer. KKII, she's a little sweet little girl, only seven years old. But God is on her side. And we thank God for her mother who allowed them to come. Hallelujah. But she didn't have to send her kids here. She entrusted them with Sister Jenny. And Sister Jenny entrusted them with us. So because she, she 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 did all of that, we just ought to give praise and, and bless the Lord for her and, and keep her up in prayer. Hallelujah. So shut your body here in prayer. prayer. Father, in the name that is above every name, we thank you, oh God, for the hands that have gone up in this sanctuary. And we thank you for the hands that have went up being video. We are praying, Father, that you would have touched and deliver and set free on today. That your anointing, oh God, from the crown of their heads to the sole of their feet, that you would work it out, Father. We thank you, oh God, for cleaning up our house on today. We thank you for even giving us the opportunity to even be born again. All those by video that accept Christ. We pray, Father, that you will continue to suffer, that you continue to buy with them, that they will find themselves in the house of the Lord. Continue to bless those, oh God, that are away and those that we haven't seen in a while, Father. Continue to touch, heal, and deliver them. Continue to set them free, God. That we'll be able to see them one more time. Yeah.
Jesus precious name. Let everyone say amen. Amen, amen. amen again. Amen. God bless you. Service is in the hands of our pastor. Let's receive him with a hearty amen. Amen. You must be born again of the water and of the spirit. Root set to guide us and lead us. Amen. I've been born again. Been to the water. Stepped in the water. Water was cold. Healed my body. But not my soul. I've been born again. Hallelujah. Of the water. And of the spirit. Hallelujah. Just like Jesus. Said we had to be done. Elder, be sure to do thank you. Praise God for the word on this morning. God, we have to get back to preaching holiness, to, for preaching how to be saved, what one must do to be saved. Amen. Like the elder said, God gave him that message. We want to preach against all sin, not some sin, all sin. Because holiness without, no man shall see him. Amen. Not enjoy peace and love. Amen. Hallelujah. So we thank and praise God for the word. Let's give the Lord a hand clap. Thank those out there on the airways for listening. And we hope something was said that pricked your heart. That make you want to search the word more. Make you want to come to House of Prayer. I'm not going to be one for favoritism. You don't have to come to House of Prayer. But just get into a church. A Bible-based church. Church that's teaching Jesus Christ. Teaching holiness. True holiness. But if you want to come here, amen, you are worth. The truth is being taught here. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Glory to God. If you want to go to heaven, you want to live holy, you want to know how to live holy, come on to 162 Martin Luther King Drive. Glory to God. At this time, our church announcement, let's greet Sister Mazetta. The hearty thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Today is still National Women's Month, and on this day, we want to take the time out to honor another woman here at this house. As you know, we honored our first lady on last Sunday, who is a extraordinary woman, powerful woman of God. We thank God for her. But this one is a strong woman. We want to honor a strong woman today. And I said, Lord, when I thought of this strong woman, I thought of my grandmother. I said, well, she's not here, but I honor her even in death because she took us in. She had eight children. They took in the seven children that my mother had. And I mean, we were all in that house, but she made it work. She made it work. I mean, we, we, we gave a hell, but she made it work. <laughs> and I just thank God for her because no matter what, her children took her through, the grandchildren took her through. She remained faithful, God. Thank she you, remains faithful. I mean, if these doors was open on Tuesday, I don't care where you going. You going down in that church house. Friday, church. Everything was church. And I thank God now that I look back over my yeah. life. Yeah. That was what I needed. Yeah. Because when you train a child up in the way, it would never depart from I'm living proof of it. Thank I'm God. living proof of it. So I thank her for being strong, even when it was time when she wanted to give up. She held it together. She kept the family oh, together. And I knew when she passed away due to this pandemic, we lost the backbone of the family. But I'm so glad to know that God, even though even in loss, we didn't lose, we still gained. Because the spirit can teach you how to come together. Even in family, you remember.
remember who that person was, that she was a strong woman. Yes. Well, House of Prayer was not left without a strong woman. Yes. We had a beautiful mother's box over here in this corner, yes. filled with strong women. Yes. Strong women. Yes. I mean, Mother Tina said, Mother Me, Mother yes. Kelly. I mean, we could go down with Mother Beth. It was Mother Beth and Mother Beth. Mother Beth. We had a mother box full of strong women. That didn't mind correcting you neither. They didn't mind telling you you was wrong neither. Strong woman. I thank God that he didn't leave this house without a strong woman. Thank you, Lord. So this word, this uh, poem is a strong woman. It's one who feels deeply and loves fiercely. Her tears flow just as abundantly as her laugh. A strong woman is both soft and powerful. She is both practical and spiritual. A strong woman in her essence is a gift to the world. And this is uh and this strong woman today is Mother Bash. Alright. The mother of this house. Right. When she came, she said that the, the pastor was talking to her. And when she passed and talked to her, she never left this house. She's been here. She didn't wander off. She didn't venture out. She's been here. She's been a strong woman to the house of God. She served on the usher board, served on so many departments of this house of mother, on this national woman's mother. We honor you for being that strong woman, not just to each and every one of us individually, but collectively. And here at this house of prayer, yeah. we honor you for more than today. Yeah. 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 Amen. If you 
eternal life through our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. At this time, we have our last remark from our elder speaking with the party. Thank you, Lord Jesus. goodness and his mercy have shared upon us in this day, and hoping that you've been blessed by the word of God, that you will take it and hide it in your heart, that you may not sin against God, because God sees all, and he knows all. So we praise God for his blessings that he has poured upon us in this day. I just like to say he's here, he's always pouring his blessings upon us. He don't just, you know, give blessings, he pours them. And that's the kind of God we serve. So we thank God for all these things. At this time, thanks everyone. Stand. Thanks that you would govern yourself according to the announcement that you said in Jesus' precious name. Shall we bow our heads in the word of prayer? Father, in the name that is above every name, we thank thee for all that thou hast done in this day. We thank you for God for showering your blessings upon us. Pray, Father, that you continue to keep us coming under your precious blood, that you suffer no hurt, harm, no danger to come to us. Continue to strengthen, continue to keep, continue to look over our sin, you say, in Jesus.